I'm a lawyer and I'm going to talk about what's happening in the Megan Thee Stallion and Tori Lanez shooting case. But firstly, who is Megan Thee Stallion? Megan Thee Stallion's real name is Megan Pete, and she is an American rapper who is the victim of an alleged violent assault. This violent assault involved being shot at by a semi-automatic weapon. She has placed the blame of this on Tori Lanez. Who is Tori Lanez? Now, Tori Lanez is another musician. Full disclosure, I really like his work, but he's been accused of being the one who shot at Megan the Stallion. It is alleged that there was a falling out at a party that was run by Kylie Jenner and that it led to a incident in a car. Now Tory has said that this is a complete fabrication, that he was never involved in anything and that it was purely jealousy on the part of Megan the Stallion who has engaged in I guess in a flame war and a, a musical battle with him over the years using social media and their songs to tell their side of the story. He alleges that if there was any shooting it was done by her friend and that this case is really one of jealousy. And the case has so many twists and turns. Megan is saying that the reality is that she is a victim of violence and that it's horrific that people who stand up against violence are staying silent. And he's saying that's not true at all. The prosecution continues to call their case as it stands and the defense hasn't even begun to call their case because remember what happens is prosecution goes first, calls their case, calls their witnesses, they get cross-examined. Then the defense calls the case if it chooses to. And in all instances, for example, the defense has a right, for example, not to call Mr. Linez because he's got a right to silence. And it's big stuff on the table. Like this is serious jail time if he's found guilty. And there's about three charges with I think a fourth charge that's being dealt with on a judge alone basis all stemming from the same incident. What is particularly powerful for Mr. Linez is that there is a detective, an LAPD detective, who says that two versions of the story were given to him and that both of those versions have issues with them. And so therefore, perhaps Megan is not being accurate. And then this detective was dismissed from the LAPD for allegedly misconduct towards his wife and violence against women. It is just so meaty, this case. And from here on in, I'm gonna go in on, on a day-by-day -day basis.